Okay, so I just got enough watching the new Star Wars trailer. And I can't say that I didn't tear up a little bit. I gotta be honest. I don't know. I know it sounds ridiculous for a movie trailer, but I grew up with Star Wars. I, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of Star Wars. I was a giant fan of Star Wars when I was a kid. I love the original series so much. I watched it all the time. And uh, when the new movies came out, I was probably like 11 or 12. And I remember, I remember going to the theaters and watching them. And being excited, but knowing that there was something off. And when you're young, you don't quite see it. You're kind of just hyped. Oh, new Star Wars, you know. I did love the pod races and the shit. I I did love some of the the fight scenes. Darth Maul and the, like, the three-way fight was pretty awesome. But as you get older, you realize that, that that was pointless. I mean, it was fun, I guess. But those movies did so much damage to the Star Wars series. I can't even describe. Like, looking back on it, the... When I was a kid, right, the, I think everybody thought this too, when I was a kid, Darth Vader was a legendary warrior. He was a warrior for the good side, he always was, he was, this is how I always interpreted it, he was in a tremendous battle, some horrible shit went down, he was put in a position where he was left for dead and was found by the enemy. The enemy was like, if you don't work for us, we're going to kill you and your whole family and everybody that you know, or some crazy ultimatum. And he was forced to become Darth Vader. And then through that, changed his, uh, you know, changed his whole personality and became tainted by, you know, whatever. And he became bad. But he wasn't some whiny little fucking kid that missed his mother and thought people are fucking angel. Are you an angel? Shut up! You're fucking Darth Vader! I hate those movies so much! And later on, where it's like just the senseless violence. It's like, oh, I'm pissed off! Blah, I'm gonna kill a fa- I'm gonna kill an entire village of people. What? When he killed those, um, the, the, the little kids? What the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. And then any redemption that later happens is like unjustified because he really went he really went too far. I mean even Vader back in the original series was a complete asshole. But it was like right it was like right away he's like, nah, I'm just gonna kill kids. Meow meow. It didn't take like twenty years of him being tortured by the Empire and by his own decisions. Fucking stupid. I I, I know I sound mad because I am mad. And looking back, it, 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 like, stopped me from being a Star Wars fan. Like, I just, uh, I, I was like, yeah, Star Wars, they ruined that, didn't they? And I just stopped caring. And I loved Star Wars. I loved Star Wars when I was a kid. And they fucking ruined it. So, the new Star Wars, a new hope, which is exactly what it is. It's a new hope for the Star Wars series. Something we can actually look forward to, can count as canon, and it doesn't fuck us over. I just hope that we can completely disregard the first three films and just not count that as canon. Like, really. I don't know, I, I don't even know if these new movies are going to be good, but you know what? That shit isn't canon. One, two, and three is garbage. As far as I'm concerned, Star Wars starts at episode four, A New Hope. All right? You know, and even thinking a bit more about, like, what was Lucas thinking? Why would he make, like, 70% of the new star, of the, like, the remakes about fucking politics, about people we don't even know about? It's like, we're going to introduce all these planets and people that we don't give a fuck about and just have them politic around. Who gives a shit? And instead of, like, Jedis being implied that they're, like, these ancient masters that aren't around anymore because they're like a race of, of you know, it's like a warrior clan that they just have dwindled over the years. No, instead, there's shit tons of them and they all get wiped out in like 20 years? Are you fucking kidding me? That doesn't make any sense. Do you remember how many people were fighting um, in episode two? 
in that like bug place, there was shit tons of sam- of uh, samurai. <laughs> there was shit tons of Jedi just walking around, and and all of them, all of them, all of them, are just completely wiped out in twenty years. That's horse shit. It's like it's like he didn't even care about his own creation. Fuck Lucas. I hope he dies. And in not caring, he has ruined the like the, the entire lore. Piece of garbage. Double chin fat fucking piece of shit. I don't know why I hate him so much. Well, well I mean of course I do. I just I, I can't forgive that shit. I can't. You 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 mm, you, you to to quote the big Lebowski, you human paraquat. So for this trailer to come out, it's amazing. It's amazing for me because it's a second chance. The Force Awakens is a second chance of the Star Wars series. Something that should have been, te- some something that should have been dealt with with more care fifteen years ago. All right. Fuck. God, I'm excited. Aren't you excited? Anybody who's listening should be excited because you know it's a new fucking Star Wars movie. Fuck yeah!